So you're wanting to make content and you're tired of your little bitty baby face cam looking like absolute garbage when you zoom in on your clip. You know, video from your stream, putting it on something, you zoom in on your face and you have this low resolution hot garbage. Your trash kid get good well in this video we're going to talk about how to implement source record plugin if you're an obs user or if you're not another little trick a hack a thing that's going to make it so much better where you can have full 1080p or whatever resolution camera as well as full 1080p or whatever resolution or whatever resolution game it's where you can have the best content not have a little poopy video sitting in a small little corner looking all the baby stupid yeah let me show you how. Step one, Chad, make sure you're using OBS Studio if you want to do the plugin, the source plugin part. Okay. This one's really cool. Um, you basically just turn it on and it does all of this for you into a separate video file. But if you don't use OBS and you want to use something like Streamlabs or whatever, the other option will work on all of these. So use the timestamp and skip over there. But you know, with OBS, this is, this is a pretty cool thing. So make sure you're using OBS and then now you need to actually download the plugin. So you need to type in a source or record OBS or I'll leave a link in the description for it. Should be the first thing that pops up. It is by Exeldro, makes a bunch of plugins for OBS, 0.3.1. You want to download this that matches your install, whether it be Mac, Linux, Windows. Uh, if you're going to do the Windows one, do the installer, just makes things easier, etc. So download it, extract it, install it, and then small tip or actually huge tip. That's what she said. <laughs> Make sure OBS is closed and not running when you install the plugin. Otherwise, you'll have to close OBS and reinstall. Just make sure that's done that way. So now let's set up that plugin. So what I'm going to do is actually separate not my just camera, but my game. So what I have right here, as you can see in the bottom corner, I'm a little small, you know, little baby Brandon in the corner. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in and you're gonna see how pixelated this looks if you were to spread this out all the way to 4K. So what if I wanted my camera to be recorded separate so it works? So I'm gonna go over here and I can actually add this to a specific source. In this case, on this screen, I want to record my camera source separate. So to use this plugin in OBS, you actually need to take it and add it to the source that you want to record. That's not gonna be like your main situation. You could technically record both separate if you wanted. So what we're gonna do is for this, I'm actually gonna add it to my camera, like I was saying to make sure I had high quality camera. I'm actually gonna click, in this case, my capture card, the video capture device, and I'm gonna go to filters. And so here you're gonna see all of the filters that I have added, etc. But we're gonna add a new effect filter and this effect filter is gonna be source record. You should see that if you've installed it correctly. If you haven't, close OBS, run the installer again, etc. Once you click source record, doesn't matter if you name it. So after you've added the filter, you're gonna be greeted with a menu similar to OBS settings. But I'm gonna show you the, the kind of best recording settings that I would encourage you to do. And if you have a stream deck, this is definitely what I would tell you to do. First off, go ahead and hide the filter and the reason you're going to do this is we're going to make it to where when that that filter is actually visible it's recording so you can set it up like a hotkey so what we're going to do is under record we're going to set this to always so that means every time we return the actual filter on it's going to record set your path where you want it to go set your name for this case i'm going to leave it as a timestamp, but i'm going to add to the end just a camera so it always adds the word camera to the end for recording format please use mkv don't do mp4 what if your stream crashed midstream and you lost all of that footage because the MP4 doesn't finalize until you stop? MKV will finalize the moment it's recording. So if your computer went off or power went out, that video file is safe. So make sure you use MKV and to actually, you know, use it, go to File, Remux Recordings, choose the file, Remux, you got an MP4. All right, scrolling down, the rest, next stuff that we need to see on this menu is actually the encoder. So there's a couple bugs, and I just want to go ahead and show you, this is stuff that they say on their actual website. If you're using an NVIDIA card to encode for NVENC, please don't click the ones that are down here that say NVIDIA, NVENC, etc. This one here has been working for me, but if you are not getting good quality or it's not recording what you're wanting, you're going to have to stick to software, which is CPU encoding. Long story short, if you got a graphics card, use hardware. If you don't, you have to use software. I'm gonna choose NVENC and then set these settings to your liking. For me right now, I'm gonna set this to 10,000, two, two, whatever the case, it doesn't really matter. So right now, if I go to my video folder where that's going to be, you'll see that there's nothing here. And there's no money in here. 
<laughs> but the moment that I actually turn on this filter, I go back to that video folder, there it is, it started to record. So this will continue to record as long as that filter is active. And then once I stop, I'll move this over, pull this back up. Once I stop the source record, you can see that now it's finalized as a video. When I open it, you can see it, it's a video. How cool is that? So you can see it, that's just been finalized. I've got a video of my camera separate, full, you know, full resolution. That's fantastic. So how can you use this and make this easy? Because you don't want to click this filter every time. So you can do this. This is really neat. Inside of OBS in settings, you can actually go to hotkeys. And so that's under a specific source that I have, which is just called cam. And then you see, uh, or it's actually a video capture device. Let me scroll down. You'll see it. Source, record, enable, and disable. Set this to something on your keyboard. In this case, I'm going to do control minus and control plus. And then when you click apply, those will be hotkeys you can use. Alternatively, if you have a stream deck, it's even easier. You can actually go in for the OBS studio piece and just choose the filter that's there. So for this case, I'm going to choose source, video capture device, filter. I'm going to choose source record and then now every time I actually turn that on I'm actually going to pull that up right now so you can see it as I turn it on the filters I'm actually going to press the stream deck and you'll see that filter come on it's already recording filter off alternatively control minus it's recording control plus it stopped and so that source record and I'm getting a full resolution piece separate from my game if you don't have OBS and you have another platform and you want to do this this is how you can do it in your recording software, you need to actually change your base canvas and your output canvas to a specific resolution. Basically what we're gonna do is make two 1080p frames sit side by side. So I want you to set your canvas size to 3840 by 1080. And so that's basically two sets of 1920 side by side. Once you've set it to 3840 by 1920, resolution, whatever the case, the next thing you need to do is actually go to your output settings and you're probably going to have to increase your bit rate to make sure that it matches. So if you're using something like 1080p, you're using 60 frames, I would recommend that if you're using NVENC or an AMD card doing code, you need to be somewhere around like 15,000 to 20,000 bitrate for recording if you're using CBR. And if you're gonna do something like CQP, you know, your mileage may vary depending on your card and what you have. So play around with your settings, get the quality you want, and then test that out. Let me preface this just knowing that you're gonna be changing your streaming or recording settings. If you're using something like OBS that has a profile and a scene collection, I'd encourage you to make a new one that's specific to double-sided recording, having two things full. Or if you're using a platform where you don't have that, just know that you are changing your base resolution and canvas and, and all of that in your streaming settings. So just know you're going to have to reset these things when you go to stream. So once you have all of your settings set up, you're now going to see that the two screens are side by side. So what you're needing to do is actually add to new sources. So you're actually gonna go ahead and add your sources to your new collection and to your new scene. So add your game and add your camera. Move one far left, move one far right so that they are full size on the screen. And now when you hit record, you have a video file that has both of them at 1080p resolution. And in your editor, you can just crop down and have full size with just one recording. Hopefully this video helps you be able to separate your cam from your game. And you can do this multiple times on multiple sources. So I hope that you can get something from this. So if you wanna know some awesome tips and tricks for streaming, check out this right here, I'm sure that you're going to find some value from it and uh, we'll see you over in those videos.